Wouldn't it be great if there was a GPT that could help you learn anything better, you know, not have to struggle through learning a new subject? Well, today's GPT that we're going to be looking at might do just that. All right. Before we dive into that, let me tell you what this is. My name is Jordan Wilson. I'm the host of Everyday AI. We're a daily live stream podcast, free daily newsletter, helping everyday people learn and leverage generative AI. So uh, if you haven't already, go to youreverydayai.com, sign up for the free daily newsletter. This is our AI in five. We do this every single day and we share this in our newsletter. So uh, thanks for watching here, but also make sure to check out the newsletter. So here's why we're going to be looking at an education-based GPU. Well, uh, you know, we just had on our show today um, a great uh, expert, uh, uh, Laura Dunham, to talk about, um, uh, sorry, Laura Duman, to talk about kind of AI and education. So I, I thought we'd take a little look at the uh, at the GPT store. So uh, this one here caught my eye, a uh, universal primer from Runway. Uh, not the Runway that does videos. This is uh, the finance platform. Uh, so uh, we're going to, jump in and check it out right now. So as a reminder to use a GPT, you do need to have a paid uh, chat GPT account. So whether that's the chat GPT plus $20 a month, if you're on chat GPT, uh, chat GPT teams or enterprise. Uh, but yeah, you can't do this with the free GPT. Uh, so here's the best way to use a GPT. If you're new to it, just say, what does uh, universal primer do? Right. Uh, talk to chat GPT or custom GPT like a human to best understand what can what it can really do. Uh, we're gonna give it another shot here. There we go. All right, so it says it is designed to function as a superhuman tutor, deeply focused on teaching a wide range of topics. All right, so here's how it operates. So it goes through a thorough technical breakdown, it gauges your prerequisite understanding, which is great. Like the best, uh, as humans, the way that we learn best is personalized learning according to where our current skill set or our current knowledge base is. So I love that this uh, GPT kind of reverse engineers uh, and personalizes the learning experience all at once. Then it fills in the gaps. It generates illustrations. It tests you. This is great. And then it does recursive learning. Uh, all right. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to say, please teach me about generative AI. We'll try that. And then we'll see. Kind of go. Uh, I'm guessing it's going to be multiple prompts going through this process to understand where I'm at, and then to kind of give me a personalized learning plan. All right, so it's giving me some definitions and basics of generative AI, key concepts, major types and techniques. So we're talking here. We go uh, generative adversarial networks. Uh, you know, variation. Yeah, anti-coders. So this is good. So it's it's going through both high level and some very technical uh, terms. So uh, even for me, right? I have a generative AI podcast. It's actually the uh, most listened to uh, AI podcast uh, in the world right now. Uh, and even some of these things, some of these things I know, but some of these things, it's like, oh, okay, like I'd actually want more detail on VAEs, right? Uh, these are things that I maybe understand at a high level, but we never really uh, dive into them too deeply. Uh, so let's go ahead and see what the next step is. So now it's gauging prerequisite understanding. Uh, so it's asking me, uh, okay, so. Now it's going through a quiz. So I'm going to go ahead and answer it. So I'm going to go one. It says, are you familiar with these? I'm going to say, yes, I'm familiar, but not an expert. So yeah, I obviously, I know, uh, you know, the difference between supervised and unsupervised learning, data training, but I'm not an expert. Two, deep learning. Do you have an understanding of deep learning? Uh, so I'm going to say, yes, a basic understanding of the concepts, but not how it technically works. I do kind of know how it technically works, but I'd like to know more details. And then mathematical foundations. How comfortable are you with concepts? Uh, here we go. I'm going to say not very comfortable. There we go. And then now what I'm guessing is it's going to go ahead and create a customized learning for me. The thing I like about this is 
I created something literally just like this, right? I didn't make it a GPT uh, open to the public. So I like that they did this, but uh, I created an expert chat inside of chat GPT with a plugin, with a plugin pack, you know, leveraging three different plugins. And I really trained it to do this exact same thing with me, right? I can, you know, drop a long PDF or a concept and it'll kind of, it knows what I know and what I don't know already. So it doesn't have to ask me, uh, but I love that this is uh, for new topics. So uh, some, some, some great use cases here. So uh, I did answer here. And now what we have here, it says, thanks for sharing your familiarity levels. Let's build on your existing knowledge to deepen your understanding. So this is great, right? So now I can go through here and it's not, I'm guessing it's not going to uh, rehash things that I've kind of already know. Um, and it's really just going to focus on a more customized learning and also the level that it, uh, it looks like even the level that it um, delivers the information, right? So when I'm looking at these mathematical foundations, it looks like it's breaking it down much more simply to me or at an elementary level because I said, hey, I'm not too familiar or too comfortable uh, with some of these uh, advanced mathematical um, you, you know, questions or you know, when it was trying to gauge my level uh, of education in that area. Yeah, like I haven't taken a statistics or algebra class in 20 years. Uh, so this is good. So now it's going through next steps, okay? Can you explain... So this is good. I'm not going to be able to go through this all in, uh, you know, a five minute overview, but you can kind of see where the rest of the process goes. Now it's testing me, which is great. This is uh, literally, we have a free course called Prime Prompt Polish. This is how we teach people to train their chat. So I love that it's doing this kind of for us, which is great. So it's, it's uh, asking me a question on deep learning. So it's making sure I understand things correctly. And then it's testing me and I'm guessing, you know what? I'm actually just going to do this quickly. Uh, I would have to type a lot more. So I'm going to pretend I don't know a lot. Um, so I'm going to say, no, I cannot explain this yet. So I'm going to say, maybe, uh, you, you know, you really don't have a good understanding. And then mathematical test question, how might you, uh, so I'm going to say, I don't understand that. So let's just say it's a really new topic and you're struggling to learn versus me trying to, uh, you know, type out an answer to these live. So now it's good. So it says, that's absolutely fine. Now it's breaking down those concepts further. So this is great. So if we go back up to this original uh, kind of plan here, we saw the technical breakdown. Now it's gauging my understanding and it's helping me fill in the gaps uh, on where I, maybe I don't know something. Uh, and then it's going to help me, you know, with illustrations uh, to better understand this. So this is fantastic. I'm going to take a deeper dive into this one later. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think if this is a, uh, a, you know, a GPT that you can see yourself using. All right. I hope this was helpful. And if so, please go to youreverydayai.com, sign up for that free daily newsletter. Let me know in the comments here if this was helpful or what else you want to see. Subscribe to this channel, all this other stuff I'm supposed to say. Thanks. We'll see you back for another AI5.